Committee on Parole is called back to order. Today's date is uh, April the 13th. The time is 1.52. Uh, panel members today are Ms. Pearl Wise, Ms. Bonnie Jackson. My name is Tony Marabell. I'll be acting as chair. A remote location is at East Baton Rouge Parish Prison. Uh, Mr. Morrison, is there anyone there from the prison with you in that room? Um, yes, sir. Who is that? Um, the secretary. Okay. Could, could you introduce yourself, please? Um, how you doing, Aziz? My name is Bosco Morrison, DLC number 71. Uh, I, I was talking to the staff member, the lady who was just there. I'll get to you in a second. I'm Chanda Joseph. I'm the secretary. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Joseph. Uh, Mr. Uh, Morrison, if you would uh, introduce yourself and give us your DOC number. Um, my name is Jabosky Morrison, DOC number 712199. Thank you. Mr. Morrison, let me explain our process to you. First, I'm going to read some information into the record. And the board is going to conduct a parole interview with you. At the end, you'll be allowed to make a brief statement before the board votes. Do you understand our procedure? Yes, sir. This is uh, Jabosky Morrison. Uh, DOC number 712-199, date of birth, July 10th of 1987. He's a second felony offender. He has a parole eligibility date of September 15th, of 2022. Adjusted good time date of May 1st of 2024. And a full term date of June 9th of 2040. He is currently serving a 20-year sentence on the charges of simple burglary and attempted possession with intent to distribute marijuana. Is all of that information correct, Mr. Morrison? Yes, sir. Mr. Morrison, your case has been assigned to Ms. Pearl Wise. Ms. Wise will begin our interview process. Would you please answer any questions she might have? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, can, oh. can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Uh, how's it going? All right. How about yourself? Yeah, doing good. Doing good. Thanks for asking. Uh, you dress mighty casual today. What, what are you doing every day? Uh, working. I've been working. <laughs> Where you working? Um, clock construction. Huh? Clock construction. What do you do for them? Um, basically everything. Um, um, well, I do concrete work, build houses, like everything. How long have you been working for them? Um, two years. Good, good. Uh, what's the possibility with that job after you get out? Um, he want me to work for him when I get out. What do, what do you say? Um, I stand in Texas. I stand in Dallas, Texas. But all my um, family members, they resign in um, Louisiana. Okay, so um, I guess my question is, what did he? I mean, you got the job offered to you. What is your answer to his offer? What do you say? I mean, I was really waiting on, you know, everything to get settled with this. Wait, things can get settled with this. Do we know when you want to live and how you're going to support yourself if you get let out? Oh, yeah. He got a place for me to um, stay in everything. He own apartments and all that. Oh, okay. So you're going to stay in Louisiana? Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma oh, okay. Now, if you're successful. Uh, you lost 30 days of good time in November of 21. Tell us about that. Um... I think for a phone. Oh, okay. Okay. You had a cell phone? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, when I look at your, your criminal history, you look like you were, were um, doing drug-related stuff. Possession, were you selling drugs or using drugs? What was that? What was going on? Um, distribution, selling drugs. And then you went over to burglaries. What was that about? With the wrong crew. And I was with the wrong crew at the wrong time. Yeah. That, those burglars kind of went counting together, didn't they? How, how, how many days? Huh? Yes, ma'am. How no. many days? Go ahead. Okay. I said those burglaries kind of went together. Y'all just went on a crime spree for a couple of days. Or what was the um... Oh, that was one day. Mm -hmm. that was okay. The... That's my, that was one day. They, they put all on the go. Uh huh. Yeah, I just went and burglarized a, a, a few places. That's what my, was that about? What was that about? You said you were with the crew. How did you happen to be with the wrong group? I was in the car. I was in the car with somebody else. I was in the, I was in the car with, with the wrong set of guys that was on the wrong 
like they was on the wrong track. So okay, okay, wrong, uh, wrong time. Oh, okay. So that's really true, honey. That's really true. You telling me that's really the reason why you got this? You know, we hear that all the time. Oh yes, ma'am. Like yeah, really? yeah. I can't. I say it's really true this time. That's really what happened. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's yes, ma'am. With the wrong crew. The wrong crew. You uh, you had quite a few programs. Uh, you got uh, you know well over a year in programs. Uh, tell us what, what programs stood out to you that you've taken. Um, welding. I took reentry. Um, um, what's the other one? Parents. Like I, I think it was a parenting class. And I forgot, I forgot the other name of the um. For the ones that had an impact on you, that changed you. That's that's, that's not the all that you've taken. Oh, we well, have a list of all that you've taken. I just want to know which ones impacted you. Maybe well, he could have helped you along the way. Well then. Okay, and that, and that's because of what? No, I, I got to teach. I got to learn. I got to teach people at the same time. Okay. Did you know you had that skill set? Oh no, ma'am. <laughs> good, good. Uh, were they hard headed? Were they were they hard headed or what? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, in, in terms of your law law enforcement, you do have law enforcement opposition, but you do have one of the judges that sentenced you that's unopposed to her release, and I just want to state that on the record. But for the most part, all the other law enforcement. Uh, our um, agencies that we got opinions from, they are opposed to your early release. And I'm just stating that for the record. There's nothing you can do about that. Yes, ma'am. So you got a job if you're released. You got a, got a new place to stay. So you're definitely going to change people, places, and things. Do, do you use any kind of drug? Have you used any kind of drug? No. Never in my life. Never in your life. Never. No. You just sold drugs. That. That's Never. your story. Stay with it. Never used a drug in my life. Never 35 years of my life. Okay. Uh, tell me how much education you have besides the uh, the welding. How far did you get in school? I graduated. Graduated at what? Um, Wiseman High School. Okay. Class of 2006. Okay. Right. Um. When I look at your supervision history, I uh, I I characterize it as four. What would be different this time? You still got a long supervision history ahead of you, even if you are released today. I ain't lying, man, man. I got I ain't lying. These, these years they changed me, man. I, ain't, I got my little girls out there, my little boy. You know, I'm just trying to do things different. So you got two children. I got I got I got four. One of my little girls. <laughs> Where two years old. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh my goodness. I, I got my little girl, my two little girls, and my little boy. How many mothers is that? Um, two. Okay. Um, that's that's the reason for having a cell phone. You're trying to stay in contact with your family. Oh yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's not right. No. Not right. It's um. Uh, so, how many writers have you had? How long have you been down? Call it out for the record. Uh, almost seven years. Yeah, and uh, how many writers have you had? Uh, I think two. I think three. I think two or three. Three. Yeah, three. three. I, I don't know. Last write up, I don't think that the last write up, I think they wrote me up for, for some slippers or something. Okay, okay. And that's still that's that's still very well. That's that's still real good overall. So that's all I have. Thank you for answering my question. Thank you. <laughs> so your family's from Texas? No, I have I have family in Texas. My family they're originally from Louisiana, from Morrow, Louisiana. Okay. <laughs> what family do you still have in Louisiana? My mother, my um, my sisters. And where do they live? Um, in Monroe. And uh, this job, where would you be living? Uh, for the job that you've been offered. 
Um, my boss, man, he owns apartments. Where? What city? What town? Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, where are your children? Um, in Texas. And okay. I, have, I have one in Louisiana, my little boy. And where in Louisiana is your little boy? In Monroe. Okay. But you would be willing to uh, relocate to Baton Rouge if you were successful? Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Even though you don't have any family here, any support here? Um, no, ma'am. <laughs> no, ma'am. They, they come and visit. Okay. All right. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Larson, is there anything you'd like to say to the board before we vote? Um, I just want to thank y'all for giving me this opportunity. Thank you very much. Panel ready to vote? Yes. Uh, the staff member that didn't have any comments you wanted to make about how you've been doing? He's great. <laughs> okay, great. Good to, good to hear. Good to hear. All right. Just in case there was something. Uh, Mr. Morrison, you did real good for yourself today. You presented well. Uh, you, you've done a good job over these last seven years. You took advantage of the opportunities they were giving you. So my vote is to grant uh, for the reason I just stated uh, and that you, uh, the only special condition is that you do some community service for young men. Oh, yes, ma'am. I about, about 10, 10 hours a month, find some way to give back to your community. Yes, That's my vote. Thank you, okay. uh, Ms. Wise, Mr. Jackson. All right, uh, Mr. Morris and I also thought you had a good interview. Uh, obviously, you do a good job uh, at your work site and the boss highly of you, and that's encouraging. And so, uh, my vote likewise to be grant. Uh, but I would like to make a condition of that. For parole that you uh, continue to work for the transitional work boss for at least a year. Oh, yes, ma'am, most definitely. Okay. So that means you you can't decide to leave on your own, do you can't get fired. Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay, but okay. that's my... Ms. Morrison, uh, I agree uh, with both my colleagues, and uh, my vote is likewise to grant. Where are you currently working now? Um, Clark Construction. Clark Construction, okay. Uh, that's going to be one of the conditions. You need to work there at least a year. So oh, get yeah. fired, don't quit. Oh, yes, sir. I got you. <laughs> Good luck to you. All right, you too. Thank you. 